Thank you for joining Sony for our SCOMS presentation. We are pleased to be back engaging with you this year, even if it's via video. I am Gary Cox and I work here at Sony Professional Displays and Solutions. Today we are going to cover the products which we would have preferred to have been showing you in person and highlighting some of the projects delivered across Europe in the last year. If any of these products are of further interest to you, we can arrange demonstration units for you to site, with or without our presence. Or well, some solutions can be demonstrated virtually. But first, let's introduce you to our latest projectors. Hello everyone, my name is Robert Meekin. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Business Projectors at Sony. And Today, I'd like to introduce you to two new models that we introduced last month. This is the VPL PHZ50 and the PHZ60. This is 5000 lumens WUXGA resolution, and this is 6000 lumens WUXGA. So the first thing I want to point out, if we look at this model here, you should all be familiar with this. This is the PHZ12, which we introduced beginning of this year and we've sold a lot of these because of your success. So the PHZ50 will replace this model. So the first thing I want to point out is that we've reduced the chassis size almost 30%. Optical engine a little smaller, 0.64 panel size, but same quality, same color accuracy, same contrast. Everything is just the same, just that we've been able to reduce the size. I also like to point out a model that we introduced about six months ago. This is the CWZ10, which is 5000 lumen WXGA resolution. And as you can see, it's even smaller. It's 40% less than the PHZ12. But again, this is 5000 lumen WXGA resolution model. And we're doing very well with this model in the market. So let me turn this one around. Let me show you the inputs and outputs. So if we go from here, audio in, audio out. We have two HDMI uh, outputs. We have R uh, RGB and uh, video composite, and we have two USB ports. One is for service related issues, so firmware updates and everything, very easy to update the projector. The other one, uh, provides power, 5 watt power, and that is so you can use any mirroring device, USB mirroring device, uh, and then plug into the HDMI. So that's a new feature within the PHZ50 and 60. And then we have two RJ45, one for control and one for HD base T, which is a good feature, and then RS232 control. So all the panel uh, inputs and outputs that you expect 
from this type of product in the market. The other thing I want to point out, and this was uh, a lot of your feedback, is that the PHZ12 had only a throw ratio of 1.28 to 1.88. So the, the throw ratio wasn't as large as we were hoping. But with the PHZ50 and the 60, we can now go to 1.23 to 1.97. So we've increased the throw ratio. This was one of the things that a lot of you said about the PHZ12. So we've, we've, we've enhanced that feature. If I look at the CWZ10, it's worth noticing that the throw ratio on this is 1.29 to 2.07. So a very good throw ratio, a little, little in the uh, push backwards, but equally a very good throw ratio on the 5000 WXGA model. Another feature, and you should be familiar with this, is uh, intelligent setting. So if you remember, uh, we introduced Intelligent Setting with the FHZ70 and the FHZ75 uh, a couple of years ago. It's a feature that only we are introducing to our projectors. We like to call our projectors the smart projectors. So what it does is, as an installer, when you're installing in either a classroom, a museum, a meeting room, in entertainment, or multi-screen, uh, you have the ability to go into the menu and, and just uh, click on those type of environments. Uh, the technology in the projector will automatically adjust the laser diodes, the panel, and the firmware to optimize the, the color reproduction for that environment. So within classroom, it would be much higher brightness, quality of the um, color reproduction slips a little bit. But then if you then look at museum, then you know that the color accuracy is perfect. They bring the brightness down, so, so forth. So the intelligent within the projectors are automatically done. These two models have intelligent setting version two. So it does all of that and also now monitors the usage of the projector. So if this is installed in a classroom or a meeting room, after so many hours, it will look into the firmware and see how many hours it's been used and adjust the laser diodes accordingly. So used in normal conditions in that environment, classroom or meeting room, we can predict or we believe that this projector will last up to seven years without uh, reduction of brightness within the market. So that's a game changer with intelligent setting version two. We're confident that this will last up to seven years. And this is, again, this is a feature that only Sony is uh, putting into their projectors. Another feature that we've introduced uh, and first time in the PHZ 50 and the 60 is a thing called Brightview. What Brightview does is if you're in, a, again, a classroom or a meeting room or you're in an environment where there's a lot of ambient light, maybe sunlight coming in, and you need to just give it an extra boost of brightness, well, this is what Brightview does. It's a technology that we've developed that we can adjust um, the, the technology, the optical engine, and we just adjust the green panel a little bit and we can then give it a, an extra boost. We do this without changing the color accuracy or the contrast or the depth of field. So we're able to give it a boost, but maintain the quality, maintain the color reproduction and the contrast. It's something that you need to see to believe, but um, it's a very good feature that we've introduced to these two new models. These projectors join our existing laser range, which now goes all the way up to 13,000 lumens, and all are available for you to demo. Now, before we cover our cameras and remote and hybrid learning solutions, I would just like to explain the expansion in our Bravia Professional Displays lineup this year. This summer, we will offer our largest 4K range of Bravia Professional Displays ever, with the addition of 32 inches and 100 inch models to our BZ range. The 100 inch replaces our old 98 inch and is very well priced competitively. Unfortunately, due to its size, we can't send it to you for a demo but we can arrange for you to see it at our office showroom. In addition, we also have a range of affordable tuner models from 43 inches to 85 inches, as well as the premium LCD, OLED and 8K models available. Now for something new, the MAS A100 beamforming microphone was launched last year in the pandemic and has offered hands-free audio solutions to our customers throughout the pandemic to teach, inspire, inform, or educate, we must be heard. Without good audio, the message can be lost. Traditionally, microphones have been a solution, 
but Lavalier microphones aren't always suitable and rely on batteries, which means AV technicians have to keep replacing them. And they get lost easily. Handheld microphones don't allow for freedom of movement with both hands. So some lecturers don't use them, leaving students in silence. There is another way. The beamforming microphone solves all of these issues. Easy to install by Dante via PoE and with automated volume, noise reduction and speech reinforcement, the beamforming microphone delivers clear audio and a real hands-free lecture experience. This leaves the lecturer free to teach, inspire, inform, educate and simply just to speak. That's all. Camellius University, Madrid, adopted the beamforming microphone as part of their response to the pandemic. While some classes were already streamed online, the sudden change in circumstances meant that all face-to-face -face learning had to become virtual. To offer the same quality of learning experience for students on campus and for those participating from home, the university embarked on a major upgrade of its AV systems. Their solution incorporated 228 teaching classrooms equipped with our SRG120DU PTC remote cameras and our MAS A100 beamforming microphones. The new system has delivered over 900 hours of teaching to over 6,000 students per day. The students are benefiting from crisp HD content and clear sound and the lecturers have experienced reduced infection risks. Today, I have been recorded using one of our Sony cameras in conjunction with the Edge Analytics Appliance and Beamforming Microphone. You have seen me incorporate PowerPoint, images, and the video content into my presentation, and your lecturers could do just this too. As you can see, there is no expensive green screen or specialized studio space required. What I haven't been able to show you is the handwriting extraction capabilities of Edge Analytics. So here is a short video to explain this function to you. The University of Louisiane was an early adopter of this technology and has been able to utilize it throughout the pandemic. Their solution consists of our Sony SRG cameras, the Edge Analytics Appliance and the Ubicast Lecture Capture technology. Since implementing the solution, the university has seen some impressive statistics, including over 12,000 videos being added, 9 million video views and 5 million unique visits from its students as of December. So this number has continued to grow since that time. It has also benefited from broadcasting and recording capabilities, which were not present before. And the level of interaction between the students and teachers has seen a significant increase. Other recent projects have taken place with the following universities. Well, our time is coming to an end. We know we have shown you a lot in this video. We hope you saw something which caught your interest. 
We would love you to experience these products in person. And we have some time now for some questions. If you want to get in touch with us, here are the best contact details to use.